As I sat in the Oval Office in a private meeting with President Clinton and my son Craig, I noticed how bright the room was from the light shining through the large windows behind the President's desk. But there's been a lot of darkness felt in that room over the past hundred years. President Franklin Roosevelt sat in front of those same windows at that same desk as he grieved over the attack on Pearl Harbor. President John F. Kennedy sat there during the dark days of the Cuban crisis. President Lyndon Johnson sat at that same spot during the tragic years of the Vietnam War. President Richard Nixon sat there during the Watergate scandal. President Reagan sat there after recovering from an assassination attempt on his life. But despite all the darkness of war, assassination attempts, and other crisis moments experienced in that very room, the light continues to shine. Those dark days have come and gone, but the light remains. There are those who fight against prejudice and persecution and injustice, but sometimes the energy expended in fighting the darkness actually increases it. And sometimes those who fight against violence become violent themselves. Sometimes the most intolerant people are those who fight intolerance. I believe the words of Dr. Martin Luther King reflect the best way to be a darkness fighter. He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. The chain reaction of evil must be broken. I cursed the darkness all night long. It wouldn't go away. I threatened, yelled, and pleaded. But the dark was here to stay. I held an anti-darkness sign, but no one there could read it. It seemed that there was just no way the dark could be defeated. We formed the Darkness Fighter Club to rid us of the plight, and many came with hearts aflame to purge the dark of night. We voted and we passed a bill, an anti-darkness law. We chanted at a rally till our vocal cords were raw. We mocked it and we called it names. We created a scandal till someone handed me a match and helped me light a candle. Then suddenly the darkness fled. The room just came alive. Don't fight the night, just shine a light and darkness can't survive. While Dr. Martin Luther King talked about breaking the chain reaction of evil, my daughter Rachel wrote about starting a chain reaction of kindness and compassion. She said, I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction of the same. I've had the privilege of sharing the platform with Dr. King's children as we've talked about what their dad said about breaking the chain reaction of evil and what my daughter wrote about starting a chain reaction of kindness and compassion. An old Chinese proverb says, better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. Thousands of years ago, another wise teacher said, don't be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Fighting darkness with darkness never works. Simply light a candle.